Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. Another pick that has certainly picked up a lot of popularity so far, 100% in this series, will be uh, last picked for Barrel. Gonna give them a lot of options. I mean, Moonfall, Magnet Storm, like... No, definitely not. He's uh, he's actually just gonna be the filler, like, uh, in between episodes. Yeah, well, they're gonna dive on forward here as Canyon is on the bottom side. Flame Chompers not really doing enough as Barrel is gonna go down low. Doft Arm looks for it and finds it. The Flash is a little bit late, though, so he's definitely going to die. Canyon might have to lock this one down, and it's the double kill for the Diana. That's a pretty good start. It's, it's a double kill oh. for Diana to go down and make the big play there when the push is real and peanut once again very passive this is a very extended trade yeah khan actually winning out on this one though is rich the hyper proc's going to come in khan's almost mega he'll have the hop possibly is there's the flash forward the auto's in the air and the hyper will finish it off for the solo on the top side uh, of the that was top notch his name is indeed khan here's the crash down good play as uh kellen might still die unfortunately lands the hook but it's just to give barrel a bit of a hug as canyon comes through with the moonfall doc arms in trouble one more auto after this will do it but he's now underneath the tone there's canyon going to get on over let's see whether he can actually lock this one down there's the wombo combo though it doesn't matter who takes the herald they immediately give a double kill over to ghost who's now chasing after gory he's going to heal just for the gap close it's another kill to go over to showmaker and Oh, man. when they tried to pull off the Asuo and the Diana combo, it was the Glacial Prison sort of staggering all of that CC so it couldn't be layered. There isn't an option Fight for Darmwon. Hook going to go wide once again. As uh, Okay, Chains of Corruption also not going to hit the mark, but Kellen's still dead. He's going to go golden for a moment, but Barrel's going to crash down. Kellen's just going to get autoed by Ghost, and now they're looking for Peanut Canyon. Going to get queued, and so Peanut's going to be able to lock that one down. As now, Gari looking for an opportunity, but my god, the damage from the follow-up, and Showmaker's not done yet. Doctarm now having to deal with this Yasuo, and he's not going to be able to. It's a double kill, and everyone is getting some... More, I'm afraid. No amount of sideline pressure. Well, Kellen's going to find a hook onto Ghost here, who's just going to wander around, look to not give... A, uh, an assist over, but it is going to be a lantern that gives that kill to Rich. So that's good news. Uh, yeah, they a bit of a shot back into this one, but it is so hard. It's okay. The ultimate going to come through. Barrel might be taken out here. And yes, Peanut will be able to lock down that kill. So as I say it, certainly a bit of extra opportunity for be able to take down this outer turret on the bottom side. So that oh. should get them a bit of gold back. Yes. Bad. Small victory here for Nongshim. And that's exactly where you want that money to be going right now is towards the Jinx. Oh. This turret is not long for this world. Chains of Corruption picked up by Gori, so Ghost is going to have to be a little bit respectful. But no, he's just going to uh, take down this outer turret. And it is a secondary charge to come through here as well for Shirley. So once again, a lot of value as in goes Barrel, actually, looking for the dive. And yep, they can do it. The on-demand Ultra CC combo comes in, and Peanut, absolutely nothing he can do. Triple charge, gamers? Yeah. What's happening this time? No, Kellen should be able to get it. Sometimes. You have the Showmaker Canyon games. You know, yeah. we've been seeing them many, many times with, uh, you know, Lee Sin coming back in there. Lee Sin, look at Blast Cone. It is going to be an Infernal Soul this game, which yeah. is a bit exciting. Do we see it taken, though, is the question. This, <laughs> this is not a base race that you're going to win, Nongshim, I'm sorry. Is that a hook? But he wanted to go in anyway. There's the Moonfall. Goodbye, Kellen. Canyon's going to try and walk this one out as Showmaker puts up the wind wall. Now, Doc Dom trying to get some damage down in response. Rich not really finding the response here either. And he's just going to get knocked up into the sky. Boomerang for the follow-up, and that is a very comfortable pick. They take down the inhibitor turret, but leave the inhibitor. Baron hasn't even spawned yet. Yeah, I don't want to have a 6,000 gold lead. We're, they leave the inhibitor. Um, the inhibitor actually might give Dr. Tom a lot of actually free farm at this stage, sub-20 minutes. They might so. have watched Freak's recent yeah, video Yeah, I was literally going to make the same <laughs> reference. Like, Freak was like, nice. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Tom. Okay, there's the kickback. There's the delivery of Canyon, but he's got a stopwatch. Trying to keep himself alive, he flashes, but goes the opposite direction, looks for Doc Dom here and gets him in the end. He's going to type worth in all chat, as now Khan looking to chase this one down, doesn't find the flash, nah, as Kellen's going to get a stray boulder to the head, misses the hook, unfortunately, and Showmaker is looking for even more. In they all go as Peanut flies on forward, but he's going to get taken down by the Yasuo and Beryl crashing down over the wall. Khan is going to kill Ken Kellen once again. It feels like in the same play. Has gone. What is going to be the response? Q going to connect onto Barrel. Doesn't take very much damage there at all. As now Khan is just looking for Peanut. The crash down comes on forward. Damonkia might have to turn and get towards the team fight. It's going to be a decent Nara into the wall. Coming through from Goro, who grabs 
the first kill as well. The second, as that dynamic duo are going to be taken out. Make it trio. As now Nongjim, it's their turn to go towards the Baron. So Darwin Kia, unfortunately, caught a bit with their pants down. I didn't see that new side. I didn't see that new playoff roster of Baron joining Nongjim, the uh, Red Force, <laughs> going to the playoffs. I didn't see that. Uh, please, actually, the key player. Uh, where's the key player matchup here for this one? But the, yeah. Baron, the Baron attempt here from Darwin Kia is spreading themselves just a little bit too thin. And when you consider that outside... This isn't going to be a pushover. So, Nongshim looking to try and deny Soul Point. Can they do so as Canyon is in the area? Now looking for his opportunity, finds the Moonfall. There's the ulti to come through at the same time. The Magnus Storm's good. It is going to be Soul Point over to Darmon Kia, but can they actually win the fight? Is the question as Khan finds himself the lone member in the area. And it's uh -oh. once again an answer from Nongshim, much like in game number one. There's an ace, and Nongshim are now going to start pushing, and they have Baron. It's it's only 22 minutes into the game, but the death timers are pretty long for Darmon Kia, given their lead that they had early on. But two amazing team fights for Nongshim where well and truly. I'm looking to try and get some pot shots onto this inner turret. Damon Kia, still formidable if they can get everything to land squarely. But they are respecting Gori so much. You can see moving on over with the. If Nongshim win another team fight, I think it might just be game. And if Damon Kia can steal away this Drake before this one, is that Kellen? a flash forward from Kellen? All right. He's going to die earlier, but. Can Canyon actually win this fight is the question. The Rel also going to fall down. down. It is a big Nara into the wall. So Silas is already dead. Peanut goes golden, but they might be able to take him down. And Dom Dom is now free hitting. Showmaker, can he get into the back line? The answer is yes, but then he immediately dies. The flash out from Canyon and the Drake is still alive. Nongshim will deny the soul. Such a beautiful team fight from Nongshim. The flash hook there from Kellen is so great because it sets up the box to where you can then set up Bob. And you're going to have to be taking these fights defensively in your base. You don't have a lot of agency when the Baron buff is up, as Dom Juan Kia, unless you... He slides through the minions towards Rich, but no, this... he had to lock anything down. As, uh, okay, now it's going to get an ulti. Rich in a bit of trouble, throws down his ult himself. As he, now he's trying to escape, but the CC is just too much. So that's the GA down. Gari looking for an opportunity, but no. He is just going to cone his way out. I was going to say, nose, they, the focus is come on Kia. They just pull the dragon out of the pit. Channing flanking. Yeah. Spotted as he dives on in. They find Dom Dom. This is massive for Dom One. Can they get towards Rich now? Who's the next option? Showmaker has dived towards him. Gori has taken out the Varus, but he's not necessarily the carrier now. Showmaker's dancing around the fight. He's got himself his guardian angel, and they say goodbye to Nongshim. Dom One Kia. They can always team fight. There's the Infernal Soul, and now they're right back in control. They are back in control, and we are in a 5v5 for Dom One Kia. Well, now Rich might have to be the hero. He almost has the Hextech ultimatum, as it is going to be the smite that comes through onto the Baron. Now can they keep themselves alive is the question. The last breath says absolutely yes, as they're looking to try and finish off the fight. Rich dashing towards the back of the pit now as Doc Dom, nowhere near as safe as he's been in previous fights. He flashes for a kill onto the Rel, but that ain't what you want, as it's a double for Khan and Canyon. Oh man, what a series for this man. Oh, what a series for Canyon. And we watched a literal miracle happen before our eyes. That team fight for Gori on the previous Baron that brought Nongshim back into this game meant that we got to watch 35 minutes of League of Legends in this final game of this series. But it's all going to come crashing down. Peanut hands off the keyboard here as this is Dom Juan Kia securing their spot in the finals, their spot in the group stage of Worlds. This is just amazing work from Damwon Kia. It seems like in 2021, Damwon Kia are the most inevitable of the LCK. Congratulations, they've made it to the LCK.